I'm uh, Commander Rick Kyle, K-Y-L-E, with the Division. So we've uh, reached the final Football Friday of what's been a pretty exciting season here in Denver. And on Sunday, around the globe, we'll be on Santa Clara as they watch Super Bowl 50. And after the Broncos win, those eyes will fall upon Denver. And as a world-class city with the best, most loyal fans in the world, we want to celebrate responsibly and act like we've been there before. And that's a message that we've been pushing out all week through videos that we have created. And we'll just run a few of those real quick here. If anyone wants to adjust for the monitor real quick. Looks a little funky back here. Ready, ready? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Denver, Ed McCaffrey here. As you know, the Broncos are headed. We've been there before. Please celebrate responsibly. Here. Let's make sure we take care of Broncos country. Oh, you know what? We definitely want to celebrate, but let's celebrate responsibly. Broncos for their help in putting together these videos that get in a very important message out there. And if anyone wants to get um, electronic action for that after, after the press conference. Um, so as the Broncos have proceeded through this exciting playoff run, we've cheered them on, but we've the Super Bowl appearance that will be happening on Sunday. And it, it's very important to us that everybody be able to celebrate in a safe environment to facilitate officers out and about on Sunday, both on foot and in vehicles in the downtown area. They'll be interacting with all of the fans as the game proceeds, and our hope is, is that everyone can celebrate safely. Um, it's very important to us for that to happen. Um, we also, after the game, will be um, patrolling for DUIs and that type of thing, so we encourage people, if they are going to drink, please don't drive, have the designated after the game and that type of thing. So we'll definitely have uh, an increased police presence in the downtown area while also continuing to, to staff the remainder of the city. That's kind of all I had for a prepared statement. Did Commander, have, have you questions? all looked at some of these videos from the last, uh, you know, the, the things that happened? They were called riots early, and if so, can you outline some of that for us? Yeah, I, I can't get into the specifics uh, of our response, but we have considered Sunday and we have prepared um, appropriate responses for each of those scenarios, some of them based on what's happened in the past. Were the people who were in bars and things down in Lodo, Ballpark neighborhood, and stuff like that, game ends? How do you want them to act? It seems like a lot of people just want to rush out and dance in the street. The public street that's active, I'd not encourage that, but if people want to go outside and dance and celebrate responsibly, we do encourage that. Um, it'll be a great time with the Broncos winning the Super Bowl, and we encourage people to do that responsibly. Um, do you know what this increased presence is going to cost the city, the overtime? I don't have an exact cost on that at this point. Um, I, we, we can look at that. I know a lot of the officers are just having days off move, so they're not actually going to be on overtime. Um, there may be some officers on overtime. We can get those figures for you probably after the fact because we're not going to know exactly how long we're going to have to work into the night depending on what happens. Will there be any enforcement for over-serving patrons? The officers that are out and about will be um, observant of that and take appropriate action. 
What is the psychology? There have, been, there have been issues with property damage. Have you worked with the business community downtown? And can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, Commander Lopez has been working closely with um, the downtown bid and the different businesses downtown to, to, to get make preparations for that. Um, we um, sent out some information to them um, yesterday. Um, talking about um, serving drinks in plastic cups, non-glass containers, um, securing outdoor fixtures and furniture, preventing items from being taken or thrown, um, reminding them to monitor alcohol consumption and that type of thing. So Commander Lopez has been working closely with them. I know you probably can't go into details on strategies, but uh, can you talk about the possible scenarios that you guys have um, the, the most hopeful scenario is that everybody celebrates responsibly and that's the message, but we've prepared from everything to that to some of the things that you saw in the video that have happened elsewhere and even in Denver many years ago when we won the Super Bowl before. What is the psychology behind uh, this? Why do people do destructive things after their team wins? That's a really good question. <laughs> I don't know that I have a, have a good answer for that. I think so certain people use that as an excuse to act out. Um, I, I don't. I personally can't understand that. I, I, I believe in celebrating responsibly and having a good time, but respecting other people's property. I think part of the findings following up that question, the last time uh, this happened was that a lot of it, it's a hooliganism that a lot of people just pile on. They're looking for an excuse, exactly. and, and I think in, in reviewing it, I think Denver Police said a lot of this was just people rioting for the sake of rioting. Right, and that's just the excuse to do so. I agree. Are caught doing destructive acts in a situation like this that we've seen in the past. The damage, they'll be arrested and the appropriate charges will be will be filed. It may even rise to felony level depending on the, the value of the damage caused. The exits from I-25 following the damage. I'm not sure if that's a part of the plan, Sonny, do you it's know? A fluid, it's a fluid plan. Okay. If that becomes necessary, they'll be very clear. Okay. So that's part it's of it. Well, maybe Sonny can answer this as well. Do you, I know it's a little premature, but have you talked about a parade route uh, if and when they win, uh, you know, the following day or so? Um, plans are in place for that. Um, we'll defer to the mayor's office. Yeah, we'll defer to the mayor's office. The information will come out after the victory on Sunday night, the specifics of that. But that's the, when it'll come out. The plans are in place for that. Okay, thank you. Good. Commander Kyle, uh, yes. since the 99 celebration, there have been a lot of major events here in Denver. Uh, have other lessons learned? From those events on how to deal absolutely have, have your tactics changed again to talk about that uh, again i can't talk about the specifics of the tactics but every time we have a major event like this we sit down afterwards and talk about what happened um, lessons learned what we can do better next time and we've had some very successful major events in the denver, in denver area over the past 10 years i look back to the dnc in 2008 it was one of the most successful conventions in history um, and we did a really good job with that, and we even learned lessons from that that we take forward as we as we move to the Super Bowl. Even. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.